Hello friends, welcome to the video number 31 for the Visual Basic for Applications in Excel series. And in this video we're going to uh, talk about how to pass uh, parameters or arguments between uh, different subroutines. And well, in this case I have created my, let's say this is my main subroutine, here is what I'm going to start. And well, I'm going to be reading uh, the integers I have here in my, in my Excel uh, spreadsheet. And well, I have uh, hidden, let's say, in another subroutine, what is my favorite number? My favorite number is 7. So what I'm going to try to do is to find uh, my favorite number, which is hidden between these nine numbers. Uh, So, well, what I'm going to be doing here, again, I'm just going to be using a loop to go through all this list. And, and every time I get a number or I read a number, I'm going to assign it to this value. And I'm going to assign it, I'm going to read it as, an, as a string. You can see I'm, I am uh, placing this uh, variable, I'm sorry, a number as a string. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my other subroutine, in this case is compare with favorite, and I'm going to pass, uh, well, sorry, here I have defined this uh, found uh, variable as a boolean, and I am initializing the variable as false. Remember, the boolean can only have two different values, can be true or can be false. Actually, as I have declared this as a boolean, when I try to assign a value, it automatically tells me, okay, you have two options. Which one do you want? So I'm going to place it as false. And well, here, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to uh, send the two values, the number and the false. I'm going to send it in here. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to take this number and I'm going to compare it. Uh, with the, the value stored in favorite. If they are the same, if they are equal, then I'm going to display the favorite number in a message box just to show the user that, okay, we have found the, the favorite number. And then I'm going to be changing that found uh, boolean. I'm going to be changing it to true. So I'm going to, when we finish this, what we're going to see, um, we're going to run this using the step-by-step, -step, uh, pressing the F8. You're going to see here, we're going to finish the subroutine, and we are going to return these numbers, or, well, again, the numbers or the variables, I should say the variables, they are connected between these two subroutines. So here, I, I am changing the value, again, of the found variable to true. So I'm going to check, okay, if found has changed to true, then I'm going to exit my subroutine, my main subroutine. I don't want to continue searching uh, because, well, basically I have already found what I was looking for. If this continued to be false, then, well, I'm going to end the if, and then I'm going to increment um, the i, the counter. So I'm going to go to the next um the next row in this case will be two so we're going to be looping here until we get to seven to finally be able to make these two numbers equal uh, well actually these two strings equals and then display and then finally exit the subroutine so let's let's run it and follow it um okay right there we just declared and uh assign the initial values so now what's the number number is one is a one so i have one right there so now number it's one and found is false actually i can i should be able to look it in here but we gotta call it so we made the call we send the numbers uh, i mean the number and the boolean or well, this is a string. I keep saying number because I, na I name it number, but it's actually a string and then my, my boolean. So I can see it now in this subroutine. Right? So we go here. Number equals favorite. Well, it, no, it's not. So we end the if. And the subroutine, we go back. 
found continues to be false. So we're going to increment i to 2. So now the number, well, should be a2. So number is 2. And we continue doing the same thing. Should have placed a watch here. OK, 4. Seven, right? Yeah. Okay, now we are at seven. So now number equals favorite. So we are going to enter in the if, display the message box. Then we're going to change found to true. We end the if and the subroutine, go back. So now found it's equal to true. So we're just going to exit the subroutine. I don't want to continue looping because I have already found what I was looking for. Now I just want to show you one thing. Well actually it's uh, I think a couple of things. Let's change here found number. And number one, found false. Found one, number false. What, what happened here? Right? I mean, I said number is one, but here number is false. Found is false, and here found is uh, the string one. Uh, well, what I wanted to show you here is that the, the name of the variable doesn't matter. When you are passing it as a, as a parameter or as an argument, what matters is the order in which you, in which you are passing things or, or the variables. So this is the one that is going to uh, tell you uh, how the, you should be passing the, the parameters or the arguments. If you want to use your found and then number, then when you call it, you, you should do it found number actually when you start writing here you should get this tooltip that tells you okay first you gotta pass this and then you gotta pass this uh, the way they are um, created in this in the actual server team that is going to use or that you are calling um, yes I want to reset it let's run it again so now I have found as false found as false number as the string one and number as the string one now another thing that i want to show you instead of found you can say ham and cheese of course this is not very descriptive but uh, let's try oh here Oh, well, it's uh, complaining uh, because I have uh, variables here that I have not defined. So, number, uh, what have I done? Okay, number, this is going to be cheese. And um, cheese, <laughs> I misspelled that pretty bad. Cheese, and instead of found, we have ham. I hope that's it. Let's see. Looks like we got it. So found is false, and here ham is false. Number is one, and cheese is one. So I'm gonna take this stuff out and just run it, and I get the same result. So again, it doesn't actually matter how you called it. Probably a better way would be some. Well, now I'm gonna mess everything up. But again, <laughs> just wanted to show you that it doesn't have to be named the same thing. Uh, you're just going to be defining this uh, new subroutine and you're gonna need a few parameters, can be one, two, whatever, uh, as many as you need. And then when you call it, you are gonna need to, to send those parameters. Again, 
when you do this you open your parentheses you should be getting this if you have obviously already defined your subroutine it's going to tell you okay you're going to have you got to pass ham and cheese so what's going to be ham well in this case is pound and what is going to be cheese well in this case is my number which is actually a string i know i mess everything up I, okay i hope you're you're getting the idea so now we can run it and get the same result now the other thing that i wanted to uh, just to tell you is it's a very good practice or considered uh, a good practice when you define your subroutines uh, just to try to avoid getting things weird or getting unexpected values passed to the to the uh, subroutine in this case for example ham i expect it to be a boolean so put it like that ham as boolean and then cheese as string so just declare the type of uh, variable that is this and this and how many other variables you have and that's gonna be it should be uh, another tip for the the uh, user or you can be yourself you can be coding this other server team but it could be somebody else and you can you just created this and passed to that person so that person is gonna get this hint telling okay you gotta pass the first one is gonna be ham and it should be a boolean so okay yeah in this case my boolean is gonna be my variable found and then i gotta pass uh cheese as a string oh well yeah in my case my string for cheese is gonna be number just like that run it and again we get the result so try to do it like this i mean declare the type of uh, variable that is this uh, ham and this cheese or however you are calling your variables and uh, well if you are doing both subroutines it's a good idea try to keep the same name but again it doesn't have to be the same name just be aware that when you call it you gotta follow the same order in as uh, they are on the on the actual subroutine that you are calling so well just practice it a little bit it's actually i think it's more complicated try to explain it than actually just try to do one or two examples i think you're gonna get it pretty pretty quickly and well as always i hope that you have found this video uh useful and please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and well as always thanks all of you for your time for watching the videos and well what we're gonna see in video number 32 we're gonna see uh, how to check if a file is already existing and if it's positive if it's uh, true then we're gonna see how to open it activate that work uh, that file and then how to close it okay so i hope to see you then